Tufty! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Tufty! No! 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 What was that? Hello everyone and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be talking about Medium. Medium is a psychological third-person horror game. You as the protagonist, Marianne, a spirit medium that helps troubled souls seek their final depart. After getting a mysterious call named Thomas, he has asked you to travel to an abandoned communist resort to meet him face to face. Oh no, it's... Thank God. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, it's very hard to talk about the story because it's one of those games where you do not want to spoil anything because each step of the way is incredible story base wise. I can tell you what I've played and try not to spoil things as much as I can. So here we go. Well, after, after getting the call of Thomas, uh, the game really takes you to some awesome places. When you get to the, the communist place, you also learn that you have a, a, a kind of different world spiritual person of yourself. So the storyline is absolutely fantastic. I can say that, but I cannot spoil any of the story. The cool One of the cool features is when your spirit psych comes in, which literally splits the screen in half. So, in one version, you'll see yourself uh, in the normal world, and then the second version, you'll see yourself in the other world. As soon as you get to this resort, you'll find that there is so much more worse things that you, your character has discovered has never been depthed into with her spiritual mind. Not only that, there was a gruesome tale in the, uh, the resort when it was open. With your spiritual powers, you'll be able to figure out what actually happened. And not only that, the, the story between this character Thomas and anything else that happened in that place, you'll also see in the uh, in the other world and your world. Um, another cool thing I really like about the game is uh, I was talking to a ghost called Sadness, and you'd see the sc uh, you'll see the two screens. One screen is just her walking around, and you won't see the ghost. But on the other one, you see in the other world with her speaking to um, Sadness, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. That's really really good. Another cool feature with the game I like is, say for instance, you're in the normal world, you'll see there's a door which is locked, but in the spiritual world, um, there is an open door. And what you would have to do is use an ability where you have to use the spirit body to go through it to try and figure out a way to unlock the door on the other side, which I like, you know, like turn on the power of electric door. You'll get other puzzles like that. Another thing which I really like on the game is it's the classic fixed camera angles. I love the Silent Hill series. If any of my friends tell you, they would know I'm a huge fan of the Silent Hill series and it's been one of my favorite psychological horror games I've ever played of all time. And um, to have that fixed camera angle is absolutely perfect. It really, really is. Another thing, uh, speaking of the Silent Hill, what I really like is the composer for the Silent Hill games was also worked on medium and that's really good is uh man the nostalgia when the music kicks in it's just so so brilliant there's another feature with the spirit and the human where if you touch a mirror you can go into the other world as your physical form 
There is an enemy that haunts you and stalks you and chases you, tries to take over your physical form, and that is called the Maw. Uh, I don't know much too much about it, and I can't really spoil much about it, uh, because there is a story between the resort and the Maw. Another thing which I really like is you can hear the spirits of their last words inside different like ornaments, like phones and stuff. Another cool feature I like is if you want to hear the spirits talk, you can check like certain items around the game. And if it has a like, weird white tear, you can listen into what happened there. <laughs> Not to mention, um, whilst you're going around the game, you're also seeing other sp tormented spirits that you need to try and help. And in order for them to help, they'll make you progress. So, because it's a resort, there's a lot of rooms to cover. And some of the ghosts there, you need to try and figure out what happened and how they died. And figure out their name and details before you can save them. But um, with that being said, the puzzles are absolutely brilliant. I, I really enjoyed the puzzles so far of my uh, my experience of that game. And uh, I honestly hope there's a little bit higher puzzles. There are some uh, bit of brain scratching ones which I really like. Um, that kind of again that kind of has that feel of Silent Hill brain scratching style, which I've missed in all these horror games. Because nowadays horror games with puzzles are quite easy now, and they're a bit too easy, and I, I like some good brain scratching ones, and this one kind of nails it for me, but I gotta say, the, the graphics, uh, the graphics and the way everything is in that game, it's so pretty, you know, from the water drips, to the puddles, to the forests, to the, just to the abandoned places, and it just feels so good. Like, even in the other world, it feels really cool. And stuff you can see in the background, that's absolutely incredible. And, man, I love this game. <laughs> I really do. It's been a long time since a good horror game came up, especially as a psychological, because the last games I played was, like, Beast Within and all that, and it was too predictable. This game is not predictable. And what can I say about my personal experience of the game? I absolutely love it. I, there is no problems with it whatsoever. I've not, uh, I've not had any bad times on it. It's just been a really good roller coaster. One step of the way, it just gets even better. And I tell you one thing though: if you're looking for a decent psychological horror game, this is definitely the one. It's currently on Game Pass, Steam, and other console platforms. And I will say, get it on Game Pass. As it's only certain amount from uh, a month, you'll be able to complete it within a month. Oh, and there is one more thing. Uh, if you are a PC player, I would strongly, highly recommend you get a controller because for keyboard and mouse, as it's a fixed camera angle, it's a bit. Mm. So use a controller for that. I, I would say um, I, I didn't have a good time with the keyboard and mouse, so I went straight to controller, and it felt very good. And that is it for Medium. I really can't say much about the main story because it's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful story, especially with, for a psychological. It's, a, it's, a, it's an outstanding storyline. And um, guys, if, you, if you've played it and had your experience, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. And I need to say thank you so much for watching. Please hit a like, subscribe to the channel, and check us out on Discord. We're always open to chat. And, uh, yeah, feel free to uh, message me or anything. That is it, Cornish signing out. You take care and have a wonderful day.